now that you know all this, you can identify each piece. The A right here is our scalar. This is matrix 1. And we're saying multiply this scalar, we don't know what it is yet, by this matrix number 1 here. And it will equal this matrix number 2. And in matrix number 2, we have variables all over the place. So given A times this matrix equals this second matrix, for some real number A, what is X plus Z? So X plus Z is over here. here. Here's our X and here's our Z. So we've got to figure out what these X and Z are and add them together because all of our answer choices are real numbers over here. So somehow we're going to have to figure out real numbers for X and Z and add them together and get our answer. The only complete numbers we have are in, in this first matrix and in this position right here. So that position and this position map each other and we know our scalar is A. So we're going to multiply A times 6 and we know that it will equal 27. That's what this says. A times this matrix equals this matrix number 2 here. So that tells us that A times 6 must equal 27. That's how you do the matrix. So we have 6 times A equals 27. And now we can solve for this variable. So A equals 27 divided by 6. So 3 goes into 27 9 times, and 3 goes into 6, 2. So now we have our A, an actual value for this A, our scalar. We know that that scalar is 9 over 2. So we're getting a long way towards answering this now. So now if we take our scalar, 9 over 2, and multiply it times 2, 6, 1, 4, we will get these corresponding x, y, and z amounts. The elements will then appear for us because that's the way this is set up. Really all we need is the, the x and the z. So the x is position 1, 1. That's this one and this one. Those are the two we need to do. So take our scalar 9 over 2 times that times this position right here, which is the x position, x, y, 27, and z. So we're going to do 9 halves times 2 will give us our x. 9 halves times 2 equals 18 over 2 equal 9. So now we know that that x equals 9. This is our end result. x is 9. We have a 27 already. Now let's go back and do the scalar times the 4 position here. So we're going to do 9 halves times 4. 9 over 2 times 4 equals 36 over 2 equals 18. So now we know that this z position is 18. And now what we have to do is add the, the uh, x and z positions together. So we know z equals 18, so x plus z equals 9 plus 18 equals 27. And that is our answer, and it's answer choice D. So you can see that matrices and scalars and adding is not complicated once you know how all the pieces fit together. But if you saw question 45 and had never been introduced to a matrix or a scalar, it would have been very difficult for you to answer this. But now you have the tools to do it.
good luck.